Hey guys, it's Marcus, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about what I accomplished language-wise in October. October was a really good month for me for my languages, and a couple of weeks ago, I decided I'm going to amp up my learning a little bit. Also, I wanted to try to learn a couple of languages every day, because what I did in the summer was I learned Russian every day, and then my Russian got pretty good. But then I started to do Japanese every day, and then my Russian kind of tapered off. And so I wasn't doing Russian as much, and I wasn't practicing as much. So I'm going to try to mix all of the languages together and do a lot of languages. Some of the languages that I want to do every day or every other day, or frequently I should say, is Japanese, Russian, and Mandarin. And also German, because with German I've been doing a lot of reviewing. Because in a program that I've been learning from, I did up to chapter 9 out of 20, but I decided to go back and review it all, and now I'm done reviewing, and now in November, I'm going to try to complete as many chapters as possible. And like I said, I'm starting to learn Mandarin more often, or every day, and I've been using this book from Living Language for learning Mandarin. It was really cheap, so I decided to get this over the summer, but I really haven't been using it that much. But I'm deciding to use it a little bit more instead of getting a whole new program because this works really well. It also teaches some advanced words, which I really like, and that I'm going to try to incorporate with my everyday language. Okay, so now in this part of the video, which you probably got accustomed to already, is I'm going to be featuring some of your comments from one of my posts a couple of weeks weeks ago. I asked you what was your first language that you learned. So let's get to the comments. First off, I want to say thank you for all of you that follow me on Instagram and for all of you that support my photos and these question photos. And I really appreciate all of the comments that you give me and relating your stories um, about how you learn languages and why you learn certain languages. So thank you for that. Okay, so I'm going to read a few of the comments now. Somebody said Russian on a dare. Hmm, that's interesting. Somebody else said Spanish because that's all their parents spoke in their home, but English was a must at school. And I know that's a, the case with a lot of kids in America, where Spanish is spoken a lot in their house and English, of course, is a must in school. Somebody else said Japanese because Italian wasn't available at their school and they grew up in Oahu, Hawaii, where there are a lot of Japanese speaking people. So jobs there pay well if you can speak Japanese. And that's interesting. I always knew that there was a strong Asian population in Hawaii, so that's cool that you're able to use your Japanese. I know I would, I love the Japanese language, but I don't have many people to practice it with, so maybe I'll just have to go to Hawaii so I can practice my Japanese. Somebody else said Khmer, English, Mandarin, Chinese, and French. That's pretty cool. I've always wanted to learn Khmer, but I have not found a lot of information or one program that I really like on that language. So I have to do a little bit more research, but I would definitely want to learn that language. Somebody else said the first foreign language that they learned intentionally was French. On the way, she managed to pick up Spanish. That's pretty cool. Somebody else said the first foreign language was ASL. That's really awesome. I encourage you if you want to learn a foreign language and if you want to learn a useful foreign language, learn sign language. Somebody else said French because she went to a school that began teaching French in kindergarten. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, thank you guys so much for the comments again. And if you want to still answer this question, put your answer in the comments down below. If you forgot what the question was, the question is, what was the first language that you started to learn? It could be the first language that you started, the first language that you ever spoke, or your first foreign language. Okay, so comment down below. Also, if you want to see some of my other language recaps, click up here. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And also follow me on social media, Twitter at language underscore addict, and on Instagram at learningwithmarcus. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'm Marcus from Learning with Marcus. See you guys in the next video.